You're watching WCBB TV Channel 5 in high definition. This. This Friday, Channel 5 is proud to air Stand Up to Cancer. It's a star-studded telethon to raise money for research, and some of it will end up right here in Boston. Tonight, we highlight some of the ways people are making a difference in the battle against cancer. Here's New Center 5's Kelly Tuthill with one woman's public fight and very personal struggle. Your blood pressure today. A nurse comes to Ronnie Cohen Boyer's home to check on her as she recovers from a double mastectomy. It's very cool. Later, a co-worker drops by with forms to sign for the upcoming Race for a Cure. Ronnie, executive director of Komen, Massachusetts, is waging a public and private battle against breast cancer. If I focus in on myself, then I miss an opportunity to give out a message. The 55-year-old's first bout was three years ago, discovered on a routine mammogram. My husband had died when the kids were five and seven. These kids knew that bad things happened. And the idea of having to tell them that I had cancer terrified me more than the fact that I had cancer. The thought of maybe just possibly losing my mom almost me apart. They got through Ronnie's lumpectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation together. It would take all Ronnie's strength to tell her now teenagers that this year's mammogram revealed more cancer, fortunately discovered early at stage zero. The fact is, is that I've had cancer twice now, both times found by annual mammograms. I can't push it enough. That's why Ronnie was so concerned about last year's controversial recommendation to change the age and frequency of mammograms. I really think that people really have to know their risks and make very informed decisions about what is right for them. Ronnie says no matter what, she will be there when the race for the cure hits the streets of Boston on September 25th. In Sharon, Kelly Tuthill, News Center 5. In 2010, Purdue Farms donated $150,000 to Susan G. Komen for the cure in an effort to help their mission to end breast cancer forever. In the past two years, Purdue Farms has donated over $275,000 in its commitment to the cause. In celebration of busy moms and volunteers who help to make the world a little more perfect, Purdue Perfect Portions has gathered some special people from our area who will give their time to Susan G. Komen for The Cure in Massachusetts. Together, they'll prepare a perfect portions recipe that can be ready when they are. Good timing as the ladies gear up for the 18th annual Komen, Massachusetts Race for the Cure, coming back to the seaport on Saturday, September 25th. I volunteer with Susan G. Komen because Personally, my grandmother, who was a mentor, um, spent a lot of time with, she taught me how to cook. She is a breast cancer survivor. Um, she's now passed away. Not only my grandmother, my aunt um, recently has, has had a double breast mastectomy after battling breast cancer for 10 years. I've seen her go through it. The time for me gets busiest is when I'm involved with the Ride for the Cure, um, because we're really doing a lot of planning in the first few months of the year, and then it gets kind of hectic. Um, fortunately, my husband and son are pretty helpful. These Komen Mass volunteers are also very busy working moms. Great job, ladies. Very good. Thank you. And so, let's remind everyone that the 18th annual Komen Massachusetts Race for the Cure is coming up on Saturday, September 25th. For more information, go to ComenMassRace.org. And You're in town for the for the walk for the Susan Coleman thing is this is a wonderful organization. Yeah, it is um, actually. I mean, they really they go all out and they raise a ton of money. Yes, they do. And you know what? I volunteer with so many different things that involve Susan G. Coleman. Even when I was in uh, Detroit, or because when I was crowned Miss USA, I was Miss Michigan. I worked for Detroit Medical Center. We had Carmano's Cancer Center, and Susan G. Coleman was always the uh, foundation yeah. that would sponsor so many of different research that we'd have going on in the cancer center the uh susan uh, g coleman race for the cure is this saturday from 8 30 to noon and it starts at the world trade center yes down, South by, the, Boston. Uh, down by the harbor uh, and uh coleman massachusetts is also going to make sure that 75 percent of the money stays here in massachusetts to fund a lot of different educational well uh, you, this is probably i would guess and then i don't know if it's 
official, but I think the, probably the best, you know, cancer hospitals in the world. Are and in uh, thanks to, uh, I think, Nancy Brinker, she's the one who started in 1982 because yep. of her sister who died, Susan yep. G. Komen. Yep. And she's also a breast cancer <clears throat> survivor. Wow. And a lot of people know that. Uh, you can go to Komen Mass Race dot org for more information tons of women participate in this and but you know what just go to maddie in the morning dot com and we'll link you this is fox 25 morning news uh, you are in town for a very special event yes. tell us about it it's uh, an event held by well it's actually sponsored by new balance for susan g coleman and uh, coleman massachusetts foundation and this is the race for the cure um, actually, New Balance is celebrating also their 21 years of sponsoring uh, Susan G. Komen. The money actually that's going to be raised during this race on Saturday is going to be going towards, you know, helping women for mammograms and those who can't afford it educational-wise and self-breast examination sure. and the awareness of early detection. Mm -hmm. So it's a great cure and uh, a great reason for everyone to come on down and help us most celebrate. Most definitely. Yeah. You know, one of the things I love about this event is most of that money does stay right here in Massachusetts, yeah, doesn't it? 75% of it. Yeah. The 25% remaining goes back to Susan G. Komen National mm -hmm. to fund for grants, but 75% stays right here in right. Massachusetts. Which is really a terrific thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's coming up this weekend. We're going to show you a full screen in just a second here and tell you more. There we go. Oh, there it is. There it's the big race coming up this weekend. Really a fun event. Uh, it starts at 9 a.m.